Hi, this is Mark with rawnutrition.com. In this video, I'll be comparing two different types of centrifuge juicers. I have here two Omega models, the small O2, it's a pulp ejection style juicer. So the pulp, uh, the vegetables are cut with a blade and the pulp is spun through and ejected out the back into the pulp container. The different style centrifuge juicer, these are an older style, it's still widely available is where the pulp stays inside. So in this type of juicer, your pulp will stay inside. Uh, you will find these to be more efficient because the pulp is staying in there and getting spun for a longer period of time. So you will get more juice, but if you're juicing a lot, you would have to stop to clean the pulp out. Whereas a pulp uh, ejector style juicer, you don't, you just continue juicing, obviously until your pulp container is full. Um, so we're going to test these and we'll see a, a difference in results. So we'll be getting more juice uh, with the centrifuge where the pulp stays inside or with the pulp ejector model. So let's get started. I've got two pounds of carrots on each side. And I'll start with the O2 model and uh, start juicing. Unfortunately, these types of juicers are a little noisier than uh, what I currently do. The juicer, you would choose a centrifuge type juicer. They're generally very good with hard vegetables like carrots, beets, and things like that. Like as you can see, you can process your vegetables very quickly. You cut these to make it easier to feed into the smaller feed chute. model is the smallest and least expensive model offered by Omega. Very good if you need a small juicer, uh, if you're traveling or at the cottage. It'll get the job done. If you want something in a, in a hurry, it's pretty quick. Uh, often you'll see centrifuge type juicers in uh, juice bars because they can produce uh, lots of juice quickly. Unfortunately, the drawback is that they are loud. And actually, this one, we're showing a bit of leakage here with our Omega Juicer and O2 model. All right, now, this one you'll find is quieter. That's a more advanced model of a higher quality. It's not as loud. And you need to be careful. Things do, do come back out with the centrifuge type juicer, so you do have to use the pusher to put your vegetables in. I definitely see with this model, it is quieter, it seems more balanced. Cost a little more than the base model, the O2. This is the old 1000 model. They have the 4000 model, which is all stainless steel. This one just has a plastic cover instead of a stainless steel cover. And it's pretty quick work of hard vegetables, carrots, beets, and the celery even will work well and you pick up the two pieces I drop. Don't worry, floor's clean, and there you go. Don't let it turn a little longer as the juice is still coming out. And I said because the pulp is staying inside and getting spun longer, all the same pulp is in there and, and the juice can still be uh, forced out through the centrifuge force of the juicer. Whereas this one already threw out everything, you can't really put that back in to try to get more juice. 
go ahead and turn that on. Let's open these up and be careful not to uh, turn that on as you open them up. Okay, so I'll open this one up. And you can see there's no pulp inside. Pulp doesn't stay inside, it all gets ejected out into the back container. There's in this model here, which is actually still spinning. You don't want to do this at home, I just want to get this open so we can compare. Slow it down. There you go. So with this model here, I've got to unlock the pin. easily show you here and you can see I still had some juice that came out and all the pulp is off to the side and it was spun through but yet it's a little bit came through here but all the pulp is inside and you can see a few little pieces of shaved carrots but mostly all pulp that is very dry so when I get a centrifuge juicer the one that the pulp that stays inside is really the best type looking at the pulp differences between the two. This one is very compact. It's been pushed all around the side and it's very compact. I could take this one and I can probably squeeze out some more juice. You can see here I've got more juice coming out of this ejector style juicer. Going over on this side with our 1000 model. Be surprised if I get anything. A little bit coming through my fingers but definitely the pulp does not feel as juicy or soggy as it does with the O2 model. Well, there you have it. Here are our results. And you can definitely see, as I mentioned, the same two pounds of carrots. We produced uh, more juice. And I see here about 400 milliliters with our Omega 1000 model. And with this one here, we got just 300 milliliters. We did get a little bit of leakage off the side. Um, so this leakage is not really normal. I'll have to look at that. Maybe I haven't fully tightened. But that leakage really doesn't represent um, the reason for having 100 milliliters less of juice. But definitely, if you want to go with a centrifuge juicer, I would suggest going more uh, with one that pulp stays inside and you can fully get most juice out of it. Again, this is Mark with rawnutrition.com. Be sure to subscribe to our channel on YouTube. You can see more comparison videos and check us out online at rawnutrition.com.